Hey guys, it's Josh over at JNH. I'm here with Justin from Chatterlores, and he's going to show you how to pin rig a ballyhoo with a Joe shoe. All right, guys, a um, couple quick and easy steps, right? The most important thing for you to do is clean out the belly of the uh, ballyhoo, okay? So um, when cleaning them out, take your thumb, and you're literally just going to run a groove right up his belly, and um, you're going to basically, you know, for, whether for lack of a better term, just have him get cleaned out here. So a couple times you run up the groove, uh, maybe three, four times, just to make sure that everything gets out of him. All right, so four times, the fourth time nothing came out. Um, the next step for you to do here is you wanna break the back of the ballyhoo, okay? Uh, very simple, just kinda snake him, is how I would call it, right? Where now all of a sudden all the bones in his back are getting broken, and when he's in the water, he's gonna swim freely like he's alive. The next step here, I wanna pop his eyeballs. The reason that you wanna pop his eyeballs is so that as he's being pulled behind the boat, the pressure doesn't build up and he looks unnatural when his eyeballs start bugging out of his head, okay? So uh, as you can see there, we just did a little number and then I use the thumbnail rule. I take my thumbnail and I go up against his beak and right where my thumb ends is where I wanna break off the beak of the ballyhoo. So as you can see there, I'm left with just what my thumbnail would have left me, okay? Beak out of the way. The next thing you need to do is figure out where the hook is gonna come out of the ballyhoo. This is what you call the pin, okay? The pin rig part, portion of the Joe shoot. So you take the pin and you line it up on the face where it's gonna exit the ballyhoo. Then you take your thumb and you figure out where the hole is gonna be in the ballyhoo stomach where this part is gonna exit. So you take this, make a hole right here, okay? Poke a hole, make a nice easy exit. Take the hook and you go inside the gill, open it up, and as simple as this guys, you just slide it down until you get to your exit hole that you just made. So now I'm inside the body, I keep on coming down, and as you can see, I come right out exactly where I had popped that hole in his belly. The hook now sits inside the gill, and right where I showed you that I was going to pop the pin out. I drop it right out the top of him. So you see that right there. His mouth is now gonna be secured by the spring. Slide the spring over the beak, attach it to the pin, and spin your ballyhoo spring nice and tight. He's now rigged perfectly, okay? You slide the Joe chute right back over the spring. Now a lot of errors that guys make at this given point in time. They clip it to the rod and they just send it out there without testing. One of the most important things that you can do is take this lure and drop it into the water, okay? You're literally gonna hold it right in front and just put your hand in the water. You'll know right away if this ballyhoo is gonna swim correctly or incorrectly. Correctly means his head is down and his tail is thumping and he looks natural in the water. Incorrectly means he's starting to drift out to the side, flop over. If that's the case scenario, sorry, you probably ruined your ballyhoo, but you gotta take it out and re-rig it. Um, again, guys, simplest way to run a ballyhoo. Don't be afraid to do this, okay? It's very, very simple. Screw a couple of them up. We all have every single person who knows how to do this, but this is a perfectly rigged ballyhoo. That's it, guys. That's pin rigging ballyhoo.